Hey guys, Mr. Sands here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with our Google Sheet the rest of this week for our March Madness project. So let me go ahead and pull that up. So I know I've showed you spreadsheets before, and I know this one looks a little bit intimidating, but it's really not when you just kind of break it down a little bit. So <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is after we make our blind picks, um, when I see you in class next, um, you're going to be using computers and a partner, and you're going to have one partner who's researching, and you're going to have one partner who's typing. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do this. Now, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to find this statistical information, and you're going to put it in this spreadsheet to organize it. Um, and then, at the end of the week, we're going to use this whatever statistical information we got into this spreadsheet, um, you're going to use that to make a more educated pick on um, teams for the NCAA tournament. So for instance here, um, you see that there are four actual tabs in this spreadsheet, one for each region of the NCAA tournament. And so you see I've actually filled out the first couple teams right here um, that game one um, in the upper left-hand corner of our uh, bracket is Villanova versus New Orleans. So if I assigned you and your partner, I said, hey, you guys are going to look up the uh, the the yellow information right here, you're going to go to this website, and it'll open it right up. And what's cool is that it has a list of all of the schools for there. So Villanova starts with a V, so we would click on V, and then there is Villanova University. And so you see, when I go right there, I'm just looking in this little area right here, and it tells me the city and the state, the mascot, and the colors. So it's Villanova PA, Blue and White, and Wildcats. And I've already filled that in. Villanova, PA, Blue and White, and Wildcats. And then I do the same thing for New Orleans, except that I'm going to click back, and instead of looking at Villanova, I'm not going to look for the University of New Orleans, I'm just going to look for New Orleans. And where is it at? New... Well, of course, now when I'm trying to find it, I can't find it. University of New Orleans, right there hiding in plain sight. So you see all the information is here. It's New Orleans, Louisiana. They're known as the privateers, and their colors are royal blue and silver. So again, all of that information has been entered in here. And then to find the information from the green right here, you click on this website. And so this would be probably some different people would be looking at this website because this shows you win-loss percentage, and you see that Villanova, actually the wins and losses are actually on the uh, the bracket as well, but Villanova has a record of 31-3, and three. and so you see that I've, oh, I guess I need to change that, uh, Villanova, 31-3, and three. so 31-3, and three. and what you notice is that when I update that information, it changes the team win percentage automatically. Um, also, I can look at scoring offense, and so that's a new category. And what you're going to find is a, uh, a good key here is using the search function, which is going to be command F. And so if I search for Villanova, nothing comes up on this first page. So I know that I need to maybe click to the second page. And if I again search for Villanova, ah, there they show up, and I didn't have to find them. The computer searched those letters for me. So their scoring is 77.7, .7, and I've already entered that in. I've entered in their defense, and it calculates their scoring margin. So basically, what I've done is I've entered in all the statistics for these two teams, and <clears throat> if you knew your basketball, you'd probably say, well, you know, no number one seed has ever lost to a 16 seed, and this probably gives you a reason why. Not only do they have they won way more games, they've lost way fewer games, their winning percentage is higher, they score more points, 
They hold teams to less points per game, which gives them a much, much higher scoring margin. They've played harder teams. That's their strength of schedule. Offensive quotient is just another way of saying um, how uh, threatening they are on offense. Defensive quotient is showing um, how good they are on defense. And if you do the adjusted scoring, scoring margin, you add those two together. So they're having a very high positive adjusted scoring margin, whereas New Orleans is actually having a negative scoring margin. And then if you just look at their head coaches, Jay Wright is a hugely successful college basketball coach. He's won 500 games. His career win percentage in college is over 66%. And the coach for New Orleans, Mark Schlesinger, has an overall win percentage of less than 50%. Now, granted, he hasn't been coaching as long and in as high programs, but it really, really seems like there's no reason why Villanova wouldn't win this game. They're stacked on all the stats. Now, when I were to go and fill out Virginia... Um, Tech and Wisconsin here, the stats might be a little more evened up because this is actually an 8 versus a 9 seed, so these teams can be very well matched up together. Um, so it's going to be up to, to you guys to find this data out there, uh, to organize it in this spreadsheet to the best of our ability. We're all going to work together, and the thing here is we've got to trust each other because this is going to be one single spreadsheet that 100 plus students are going to have access to editing. So we kind of have to be cool and we have to make sure that we're not deleting other people's stuff. We have to make sure that we're not um, going crazy and color coding things. We have to make sure that we're not typing in two point font or 2000 point font to make everything um, look you know, all crazy. Uh, just type in the data that you find. Work in the section that you need to be working in, and if so, I think that we'll be able to really share our data um, together because the work of 100 students working together is um, much, much more than just a couple students working. So I really have a, a strong ambition for finding this data, and um, then at the end of the tournament, um, after we've completed both a blind pick bracket and a bracket where we've maybe analyzed some statistics, um, you know, I'm interested to see which one we did better on and how our stats really fared between classes. So um, I'm really excited for this project, and I think we can have a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are too, and I hope that this gives you an idea of things to come later on in the week. Thanks, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.